After months of speculation, Senator Joe Manchin has officially made his decision on whether he'll run for governor in 2020. He won't, and we were there today when he explained why. It's a question we've been asking all year. Is a run for governor in your future? What will Senator Joe Manchin do in 2020? Will you be coming <laughs> back here, possibly running for governor in 2020? I'm going to be making that decision before I go back. That decision has been made, and for Senator Joe Manchin, it's a no. Someone says, we change your mind. I never changed my mind. I just finally made a decision based on the facts and how I had to evaluate where I could help the most. That, he says, is through his Senate committee assignments. He is the top Democrat on the Energy and Natural Resource Committee and also sits on the Appropriations Committee. Uh, being a ranking member, that means I get to set policy. I get to make sure that West Virginia is not left out. Manchin served as the state's governor from 2005 to 2010 before leaving for the Senate, where he has been critical of current Governor Jim Justice, who was elected as a Democrat but then became a Trump-endorsing Republican. So Manchin is out, but who's in when it comes to West Virginia's race for governor in 2020? What the state needed yesterday is the same thing the state needs today. Uh, we need a movement, not a king, not a savior. Smith is now the only Democrat running, but on the Republican side, it's a crowded field, with the incumbent justice being challenged by former Commerce Secretary Woody Thrasher. Senator Manchin and I share one thing in common, a very firm belief that somebody else needs to occupy the governor's mansion. And I think when Senator Manchin recognized that, I think then he felt comfortable to drop out of that race. Senator Manchin said he will support any candidate in the race who puts West Virginia first, but did not endorse anyone today.